In this video, we're going to talk about binary operations. So a binary operation is just a function which takes a pair of elements in a set, which we're calling S, and produces another element of S. So normally, when we talk about functions, the notation we use is as follows. F of, well, in this case, this is the domain, so I'll use S1 comma S2. And then if f is a binary operation, then this element here will also be in s. However, when we're talking about binary operations, we use what's called infix notation. So infix notation. So we take our element s sub 1 in s, and then we apply the function, which we'll call star. And then we have s sub 2. And then this element will reside inside S. Now the definition is a little bit abstract, but the concept is really simple. Let's look at some examples. Let's start by setting S equal to the set of natural numbers. So these are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. And let's look at the operation plus. Here plus means addition in the regular sense. And addition is a binary operation on S. So this is a binary operation on S. Why? Well, if you take two integers, or two natural numbers rather, it works for integers too. But if you take two natural numbers and you add them up, so you look at the number m plus n, it's also a natural number. So if you take two natural numbers and add them, you get another natural number. So addition is indeed a binary operation. Seems simple enough. Let's look at another example. Let's take the same set, s. So s is the set of natural numbers again. And this time the operation will be just subtraction. In this case, um, subtraction is not a binary operation. So this is not a binary operation. Why? Well, if you take the numbers 1 and 2, those are both natural numbers. But then if you look at 1 minus 2, well, that's negative 1. And that is not a natural number. So subtraction is not a binary operation on this particular set. Let's look at another example. If we take s to be the set of integers, so this is all the positive whole numbers, all the negative numbers, and uh, all the negative integers and zero. So for, for example, we can write it as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. And let's take subtraction again. So we have subtraction. And this time, subtraction is a binary operation. If you take two integers, then when you subtract them, you also get another integer, right? We're allowing for the negative integers and zero this time. So this time subtraction is a binary operation. Let's look at another example. How about something a little more abstract? So capital X is going to be a set, and we'll set S equal to the power set of capital X. This is the set of all subsets of capital X. And here our operation will be union. And let's see, if we take two sets, 
So two elements of the power set. Then we look at their union. Is that also in the power set? Well, let's think about it. If we take A and B in the power set of X, that means that A and B are both subsets of X. That means that their union is also a subset of X, and so the union is also in the power set. So union is indeed a binary operation. Let's look at something a little different. This time let's set S equal to the set of all two by two matrices with complex entries. And our binary operation, I'll call it star this time, this is going to be regular matrix multiplication. So if we take two matrices, let's say A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H, then we define star by saying that the product A, B, C, D starred with E, F, G, H is equal to A, E plus B, G, A, F plus B, H, C, E plus D, G, and C, F plus D, H. And this is indeed a binary operation on S. Why? Well, A and E are complex numbers. When we multiply them, we get another complex number. Likewise, BG is a complex number, and the sum of complex numbers is also a complex number. So this here is a complex number. The same holds true for all of the other entries. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix with complex entries. So it is indeed an element of S. So matrix multiplication is a binary operation, is a binary operation on our set S. Now, sometimes binary operations have special properties. One of those properties is the property of being commutative. So a quick definition. So a binary operation which we'll call star on a set S is called commutative if whenever you take S1 and you star it with S2, that's the same thing as taking S2 and starring it with S1 and this has to hold for all S1, S2, and capital S. So let's go back and look at the binary operations that we already created and see which ones are commutative. So going back up to the top, on our first example, um, we had the binary operation on S of addition. So certainly, if you take M plus N, that's the same as N plus M. And that's true for all natural numbers. So here, addition is a commutative binary operation. So this one certainly is commutative. In the next example, it looks like we didn't have a binary operation at all. So subtraction was not a binary operation on the set of natural numbers. So we can't even talk about whether or not it's commutative because it's not a binary operation. In the next example, we did have a binary operation on the set of integers, but it is not commutative. Not commutative. Why? If you take the numbers 1 and 2, those are both integers, 
and you can look at the element 1 minus 2, that's equal to negative 1, but then if you do 2 minus 1, you get 1. So negative 1 is not equal to 1. So subtraction is not commutative on s. And in this case, s was the set of integers. Remember, the definition said it has to hold for all s1, s2 in our set s. So to show something is not commutative, all we have to do is find an example where it fails. So we just have to find one pair uh, where it fails. And we did that. We found the pair 1, 2. The next example was union. Uh, certainly, if you take A union B, that's the same thing as B union A. So in this case, union was a commutative binary operation. So definitely commutative. And the last example we had was matrix multiplication. Uh, this one is not commutative. You could just make up two matrices, and chances are, if you multiply them both ways, you will get a different result. So in general, matrix multiplication is not a commutative binary operation. So I hope this video is, uh, helps. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep talking a little bit more about binary operations. That's it.